Hey guys, we didn't really vlog today. We kind of took a little break, kind of stressful day. But a lot of you guys have been asking if Maya and Noah are still sharing a room or if we changed the rooms back. And if we did, why did we do that? Why did we spend money on bunk beds and all of this stuff? So our idea was we needed to make more space downstairs. So we bought some bunk beds. Um, Maya has been wanting bunk beds for a while. We've been kind of going back and forth on the bunk beds and then we decided, well, we can make Noah's room into a playroom and kind of bring all the toys from downstairs upstairs because downstairs was just getting too crowded with toys. I looked around at bunk beds, on the bunk beds um, on Wayfair. We took the entire day to put bunk beds together, to, to put their new playroom together. Thanks, Maya, she came home from school, she loved it. I don't know what happened, but we went downstairs for dinner. Um, she curled up on the couch and she just started, not like full blown like crying, but she was definitely shedding tears, but like kind of keeping it on the down low. Asked her, you know, what's wrong? And she's like, nothing, nothing's wrong. But, like she was emotional. She finally said that it wasn't like, like the way her room is. She wanted her old room back. She wanted her old bed back. She wanted her old room back. She wanted everything like her girly room back. She expressed that she didn't like her room. You no, know, we told her just, you know, give it a couple nights and you'll be fine. Like more emotional and then she went on saying that school's hard and they make her do everything. She just kind of like let everything out and I've never seen her be that, like her true raw emotions like that before. That night we actually took the beds apart because all you had to do was like lift off the top bunk and it became two twin beds. The next day we kind of put the room together as if they would still share a room because we really loved the playroom. I loved having that playroom. I'm really, really upset that we spent all that time on the playroom and their rooms and it's back to how it was. But then we were having problems with the mattress. Well, during that time, Maya was still having a very hard time. Every night she would say she doesn't want to share a room with Noah. We told her, well, if you can wait till after Christmas, because this was right before the Christ like the holiday weekend and we had a lot of plans. Yeah, it was on Thursday. <laughs> yeah, we had a lot of plans that weekend. And I said, if you can like just hold out till after the weekend, Christmas Eve was the for sure like, okay, we'll switch your rooms back tomorrow because they it was just don't like they like she was done noah could not noah cannot share rooms right now noah's at that age where he just likes to monkey and climb up on her bed and jump on her like she did not like that when she's trying to go to bed and he's trying to jump on her bed like, Christmas day i ended up getting sick and so gage switched their rooms back and now it is back to normal the only thing she did not get was her white bed because we obviously paid for the bunk beds and I'm not going to return the bunk beds because later down the road we have two boys that will more than likely use those bunk beds. So yeah, I'm going to just jump in and show you how their room look right. now. So at first we were thinking about putting Maya into Noah's room and having Noah stay in Maya's room just because Noah's room is a little bit bigger but Maya said she wanted her old room back. So her room kind of looks the exact same as how it was, just things are a little different. I'm gonna turn the light on. Um, her bed is obviously different. We did not give her her old white bed back even though she said she wanted it, but we already paid for these beds so she's going to keep this bed. But um, the only things that are pretty much the same in here is the um, dolly house and the dresser and the TV. So that we now have like a little sitting area right here for her books because her books are no longer on the wall over here because now she has her little nightstand that used to be right here, which now right here is her toy bin that used to be right there. So it just kind of got all rearranged. Gage actually did all of this on Christmas day. So um, yeah, now she has a nightstand, which we can now get her an alarm clock, and she can start learning how to get up to an alarm clock. So, like I said, her bed is obviously new. It was the bunk beds. Bedding's still the same. She got a new mattress, and she now has a mermaid tail. And she now has this pretty little vanity in here, and Gage put her little light. She actually has a play tent, but we don't have the play tent up. That light, we just Gage put right there. So... There's her little vanity. She still has her little mirror. I actually got this vanity from my mom on Christmas with her little mermaid hair don't care brush makeup and she's already been loving it. Yeah, little trash can. I do need to hang her letter back up and I need to put 
some pictures back up <laughs> on the wall. It looks so bare without any of those posters. Looks the same. I do want to declutter, but I need, like, I want to ask her what she wants to get rid of because a lot of toys are stored underneath the bed. Maybe I just need to find a better storage system. This room is pretty different because he's no longer in a toddler bed. So this is what his room looks like now. His bed is up against this wall with his dresser. We still need to anchor his dresser to the wall. Behind the door, there's just the towels. And then um, we still wanted to be able to have a bunch of space downstairs. So the only toy from the playroom that was brought downstairs is two toys. The play kitchen and what? The desk. So we kept the bin organizer up here. Yes, it still has girl toys in it, but that's completely okay. Um, he has a train table, has stuff under his train table. His books are now over here. Did Noah, oh yeah, Noah had his books on this wall. Now they're over here with some other toys. The closets are still the same. We didn't change out the closets. The only thing, like I said, is I need to get my summer clothes out of here. Did you take a bath? Was it a fun bath? No one now has his car chair in here, which he can sit and he can watch a movie if he wants. And then, just like how it was downstairs, the toys up here. Noah's room looks different, but the same. the same. Just bigger furniture because we did not want to bring all of it downstairs. We still wanted to have space downstairs so it wasn't too cluttered. A lot of people have asked about Weston, and I've said this in a vlog before, but he is in our room, and his crib is just fine it's in our room. I would not want him sharing a room with Noah right now because that did not work very well with Maya. I've had a couple people ask me what whitening mask I use, and it is the Mario Badescu whitening mask, and it says to use two to three times a week. I try to do that. I have not been doing that, but I'm actually going to put some on tonight. Wait. I need you to go get your brush and your chapstick out of mommy's room. Can I take this? Sure. Daddy! Daddy! <laughs> you can take your mom. No. Cold, cold. Does that feel good on your lips? Uh-huh. Daddy, say good night. Good night. Night. I didn't say good night to Weston, because I had to put this down well, for him. I think Weston's already sleeping. No. Oh, he's not? Night. Say good night. Hey, turn it on. Say How did that happen? Because I was brushing it. Did you twist it? No. I was trying to brush it. Like this. Okay, but be gentle on your hair. Like this. Oh. Okay, but be gentle. Two out of three kids are asleep. We're just waiting on Mr. Noah to go potty. Oh, There's stars up there? Yeah. Mm -hmm. There you go. I totally should have washed my hair, but I'm glad I didn't because the hot water ran out so, so quickly tonight. Look at that. It's like a little curl. I need to go downstairs and get some water. I could honestly go for a snack, but... <laughs> I'm trying, trying to be healthier and lose some baby weight. Eating past, I don't even know what time. I'm just gonna say six or seven. No, I'm gonna go eight because some people don't have dinner until like six, seven. But for me, eating past, let's say seven, because we usually don't have dinner at seven, is a big no-no. Dinner at 5.30, that's all I've had. So I'm gonna have some water because I really need to lose some baby weight, especially before we head back to on to Florida and to the beach. And last year when we went to the beach, I was pregnant. And this year, mama can sit on the beach with a wine cooler and play in the sand with my kiddos, of course. <laughs> Definitely won't be wearing a bikini because mama's not ready for a bikini. I'm going to end today's vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will talk to you in tomorrow's video. Bye guys. Mr. Weston's stash of toys. Besides the hairbrush, the controller, and the mouse, obviously. But all his toys right here. 
big old boy.